Hey, what's going on guys? It's Dante and um, today I'm going to show you guys how to increase your FPS in Season 7 because recently I've been getting a few complaints that everybody's FPS has dropped due to the new snow and all the stuff they've added in. I'm going to show you a few tips how to increase it and get it back to what it was in Season 6. Before this video starts guys, make sure you guys go in the description, click on my link for my Twitch channel and go drop a follow. I stream every single day. And if you guys want to see an updated setup tour after Christmas, make sure you guys drop a like and let me know in the comments. Just to show you guys a comparison of the impact of, new, of the snow and stuff they've added in, look at my FPS right now. I'm rocking over 200 and uh, I'm going to go into the snow and I'll show you guys what I have there. So for me guys, my FPS does not go down that much because I do not have that low end of a PC. I have about a thousand dollar PC and I recently just upgraded my RAM from 8 gigs to 16 gigs. And that's dramatically helped me with my FPS, especially while streaming, so I would recommend that for you if you're having problems while streaming and your FPS drops. However, if you're not as fortunate as me and able to buy RAM or have a higher end PC, I'm going to show you guys a few tips on how to fix your FPS and make your game as smooth as possible in Season 7. Alright guys, I'm going to make this as quick as possible because I know you guys probably get annoyed of long videos on how to do this. I want to make it short and sweet all right so the first step and what i've done in my previous fps video is you're going to go down to your search bar and you type in power and you do choose a power plan and you're going to make sure you click high performance i think sometimes it'll be a drop down and you have to click high performance i did this in my last video it's just for people that haven't seen it already um make sure you have high performance selected so that it performs better and doesn't you know like perform on energy and stuff like that all right guys so my second step is you're going to go down to your search bar and you're going to type in percent temp percent right you're gonna click on that and there's gonna be a long list if you haven't deleted them already i have deleted them so it's it's barely a list but um you might have like pages and pages of these these type of files right here and you're, what you want to do is you're just going to select them and you're going to delete them and you're going to click skip and it's just going to keep on doing it i can't delete them because i already have but make sure you guys do that and for my next step, guys, what you're going to do is going to come down to the search bar, type in this PC. You know, right down, right click on this PC and go to properties, advanced system settings, advanced, click settings. And I have done this in my previous video as well, but I showed you guys to click adjust per best performance. However, I do custom. I want to show you guys what I do just so that it looks windows 10 still looks good like you know like dragon windows and stuff like that however it also increases your fps so i have anime controls and elements inside windows checked animate windows when minimizing and maximizing checked show window con contents while dragging checked and smooth edges of screen fonts checked all right and this will increase your performance as well as make windows 10 still look as good as it does Alright guys, for my next step, I'm going to do what I have previously done in my other FPS video, however, I'm going to go in more depth. So, I have a lot of people complaining that they can't, or um, they try to do their stretch resolution, it just doesn't work. So, what you guys want to make sure you are on is full screen. If you're in windowed full screen, or windowed, it's not going to work. So, you're going to go to windowed full screen, make sure you're on 1920x1080, click apply, then you're going to close your game out. You're going to come down to your search bar and type in percent app data percent, go to the folder. Then you're going to go to app data at the top, local, Fortnite game, saved, config, Windows client, and then game user settings. However, before you click on game user settings, make sure you right click on it, go to properties, and make sure, absolutely make sure read only is unchecked. Then you're going to double click on it. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to find where it says resolution size, last user confirmed resolution size, and then desired screen width, and last user confirmed desired screen width. And you're going to change it to, one of my recommended one is 1024 by 768. So once you have them all changed to 1024 by 768, you're just going to click on the X, click save. And for some people this works, however, for some people it doesn't. So what you're going to do is you're going to get onto your graphics card, settings and you're going to want to make a custom resolution so for me i have a amd radeon settings most people have nvidia so i don't know how that exactly works but basically all you want to do is just come down and you're going to create a custom resolution 
and for whatever monitor it is. So for in my case, it's display one, and I would change the resolution right here to 1024, and this one to 768. Oops, 768, and then you would also change this one right here from 1024 to 7. 68 and then you would create the custom resolution and then I'm not gonna save it because I don't need it but then you would go to your display settings which you could just right click on go to display settings and you're gonna want to come down right here and go to 1024 by 768 once you start up your Fortnite, this is how it's gonna look if you did do it correct it's gonna be stretched and I'll go into a game just to show you guys what my frames are like However, if this does not help you as well as it should it do, make sure you guys go to your settings and if you need to, lower your lower your settings down. So I usually just play on this, maybe maybe that. However, if you need to lower your 3D resolution down, go ahead. It's going to lower your quality dr like quite dramatically, but in my opinion, uh, I can play on, like if I had to play on this, I could play on this for better FPS, 100%. Alright guys, make sure if this did help you in any way, make sure you guys drop a like, drop a sub, leave a comment, tell me that it did work. I would greatly appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.